All right, so what do you play on a G7? It's a great question. I look at it this way. First of all, you get your octave, whatever position you're going to be in, right? And then I first of all look at all 12 notes. They all work, it's where you land. That's all the altered scale, the, the bebop scale using the major seventh as a passing tone. Okay, so I just try to hear all those tones first of all. Okay, then I look at the major triad, that's the root, the foundation of the uh, dominant chord, one, three, five, and seven. So they're your chord tones. chromatic notes lead up to it and there are your chord tones so there are your basic landing tones okay so now you have your mixolydian scale which is a c scale from g to g so i suggest just playing in that mode Just using those seven notes, you notice the minor seventh, minor nine, minor eleven, right, is all in there, and that's related to the G7, the two five. Okay, <clears throat> it's one. Now you have your flat nine, and that's based on your. C harmonic minor. It's the mixolydian mode of the C harmonic minor. Okay, and then you play around with that mode. Remembering your chord tones. Super Locrian, which is a mix of the diminished and the whole tone. First diminished, and then whole tone. Uh, see that whole tone in there? All right, and then there's one more somewhere in there, but I can't remember what it is now. But I'm going to, there's uh, uh, lessons on this throughout the channel. I'm going to put up the PDF. And those are basically the altered scales, but we have to remember we want to look at the, the, the juicy notes that you like. Sharp nine down that scale to the 
five of the one chord. So, um, and then the chromatic. Got the G string, which is kind of cool for open. Uh, there's a G7, right? Here's G flat seven, third, and ninth. Put the set fifth here. So, um, lots in there, but really it's the 12 notes, right? And then they're broken down into scales and modes, and that's the altered sounds you're talking about.